All right, today we're going to have a uh, demonstration on a Shagia. Uh, it's a model G30, cylindrical grinder, uh, cylindrical universal IDOD. We have a swing down ID attachment on the top here. Uh, it's currently wired for 220 volts, three phase. Uh, it's complete with a plunge feed cycle where the wheel head will move in at a rapid movement to a certain point and then start feeding. And when the cycle reaches zero, you have a spark out timer and the wheel will go back automatically and the work head will shut off. Uh, it also has an automatic uh, traverse grinding program where you can select it to pick feed on the left side or the right side or on both sides. Uh, I'm not going to go into the whole programming of the machine, but down here is how you set your stock removal and safety. And obviously this is your in-feed hand wheel, your longitudinal table hand wheel, your dresser, tail stock, and the machi machine controls. Uh, you have a control for spark out time, uh, for plunge grinding, and you have a, a spark out counter for tra uh, traverse grinding, counting the, the, the strokes back and forth. So you got over here uh, Morse taper number four in the headstock, which is live and dead. And over here on the tailstock side, you also have a Morse taper number four tailstock. Uh, there's a nice ID spindle mounted up here. <clears throat> and also behind the machine is a, uh, a low profile coolant system. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bring the slide in. When I bring that slide in, because I had the table turned on, the table started to move. What you would want to do normally to be safe would be to bring your wheel slide in first and make sure you don't hit anything and then come close to your part and when everything is okay, then you start your table. So you see at each table reversal we're going to start, we're going to feed here. The amount that that feeds you set with these dials, the speed of the table you set here and if you want any kind of a dwell or a tarry, you set it there. So that'll just go on like that for a while until it reaches zero and it starts to spark out. But I'm going to stop it. The hand wheel goes back to where it started from. I'm going to shut the table off and I'm going to select plunge grinding instead of traverse grinding. Now when I hit the cycle start button, the table won't move. The hand wheel will feed continuously until it gets to a point where it uh, goes into the slow feed, which is right there, and you get to zero, and your spark out timer comes on. You see a little orange light. We're going to go through that again. Okay, you got these yellow light, these white lights, uh, yellow light, excuse me, I'm colorblind, blue light, green light, and red light. We start the cycle, and it tells you I'm in cycle because it's green. Uh, <laughs> blue, excuse me, and when we go into the fine feed, we get the green light, and then our dead stop, or, or zero, is the red. And that is going to signal the timer to start your spark out, and there you go. Now this is an exceptionally nice machine, this is Japanese, uh, it's built like a tank. Um, I don't know what else to say about it, it's really nice. You've got a, a dial indicator here for your correction of your taper. Uh, variable speed on your headstock and if I don't hurt myself here it's got a fold down as soon as I come off the switch in the back immediately the grinding wheel stopped running because it knows that I want to use this uh, so there's your ID spindle And that's it. That's the uh, Shigia G30. Thank you very much.